Is it on? This is why I don't fucking cut my hair in Austin, bro. Come close. I What is this? The Bitcoin stock market, bro? Fucking, what is this? I'll, I'd rather let it grow, no hairline. Have this this thing right here. You guys, I don't have that problem. I think, I think a day trader cut his hair and like it's like a prediction. Like it's gonna go. That thing. So here we got our friend Oliver Tassa, who's gonna see action Saturday on who's number one in Los Angeles, correct? Yeah. Los Angeles or Costa Mesa? Costa Mesa, okay, Costa perfect, Mesa. thank you. So it's gonna be via Afro Grappling, you can all watch it. And uh, I want your thoughts on your match. And Dude, I've been getting ready for this match, for just getting ready every day for whatever. So he's gonna get it. How do you feel physically? Peaking, stronger than ever, cardio, strength, power, mental, everything. That's really good to hear. So we expect a good Oliver Tassa for this match. Mambo todo tiempo. Papi. You're beginning a good like, like a, a streak because you won also at the event of Enigma. Yeah. You won your the, the belt also. Things so. are coming together, man. Things are coming together. Obviously, the end of last year wasn't the greatest. I got some injuries. I got some setbacks health-wise. Um, but things are coming together now, the routine, the training, listening to the body, finding the balance, everything is, is coming together perfectly and uh, I feel like I'm just getting started. Man. Yes sir, just mambo para todo el mundo. Mambo para todo el mundo, papi. Perfect. Repartiendo el bacalao. <laughs> Ay. Okay, so see you on Saturday. Thanks for everything, bro. Thank you, bro. Okay, here we got a Giancarlo Mambo Bodoni. We call him Mambo, you know how it is. So, Giancarlo, you got a match this Saturday or Saturday on his number one. Uh, it's gonna be via Flow Grappling, right? Yes. Let's talk about. Let's talk a little. Let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, who's your opponent, and what do you expect about this match? Yeah. So uh, this Saturday, uh, February twenty fifth, me versus Pedro Mourinho. Um, he's the light heavyweight champ on who's number one. So I'll be facing him for the title. Um, we fought a couple times at brown belt and early on in black belt, so we have a little bit of experience with each other, but it's been a while. It's been, I think, like, it'll be uh, maybe three years since I've competed against him, so um, it'll definitely be a different match. Uh, I'm feeling really confident, feeling good uh, with my preparation, so this is gonna be my last training session in Austin, and then tomorrow we take off to California. Nice, so how do you feel? Feeling great, physically I feel good. Uh, the camp went well, uh, my weight's good, my body's Peaking pretty pretty good, so um, I'm just excited for Saturday. And people check the seminars because this guy is gonna be all over. Yeah, yeah, I'll be uh, doing one the next the day after the match in California, and then a few other ones in March. Um, I actually, going to Mexico and a few other states in the in the U.S. So perfect, perfect. See you there, man. Yes, sir. Thank See you. you.
guys. Very good, very good. Now, when someone shoots over the knees, I'll go always. If you get a hips underneath our hip, that's always the goal. If the hips are, the, the head underneath our hips just like so. And it's from here that we do most of our work. When someone shoots off the knees, this becomes very difficult. We need a different uh, kind of response. When they pick up single leg like so, from here, it can be quite difficult for us to uh, put the head directly underneath the head. So what we're going to do instead, grab a hold of our own thigh, and then from here we're going to use future market to bring everything back down to the mat. We turn our knee in just like so, and our shoulder takes his head offline, so we're facing more or less the same direction. I observe my training partner's toes on the foot closest to me. And from here we're going to move so that our toes face the same direction as his. So we do a little kin connection, and then from here we bring everything down to the mat. Now that he's down on the floor and goes to recover, that's when we can put the head back underneath the head. That's when we can bring our chest down to the scapula. That's when we can pop our chin, pop our grip off, and then from here, go in behind to get to our scoring positions. So once again, this time our opponent doesn't even go down to the knee. He comes in high, so we place the leg in, just like so. Now from here, we start that kin kin action. Hop, 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 lift, bring it all down to the mat. He comes back up to the cover, we put the head back under the hips where it belongs. From this position, we take our chest down to the scapula, pop the grip off, arm drag, go behind the scoring position. Okay, that's every five hours. Uchimaka brings it back to the mat.